I can dab, 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 dab. Hello everyone. So welcome to the tutorial video for F-R-I-K, uh, which is, if you don't know, the V-R-I-K equivalent in Fallout VR. <laughs> um, so this is a, the first release. This mod is made by Rolling Rock uh, with some help from Cylon Surfer. Um, so definitely go show him some appreciation and this will probably still be worked on and this is going to serve as a beginning uh, tutorial video for getting yourself set up with hands in Fallout VR. Amazing. Um, so first thing to know about using FRIK is this will not work with idle hands. So if you're previously using idle hands, you're going to want to get rid of that as well as any kind of INA stuff you've done for... Um, idle hands because it just it won't work um because now you know you have your whole body so you're not gonna need those those hands anymore um now the nice thing is that a lot of the um stuff from idle hands has been rolled over into this so you have that nice little head on the back of your hands you also have the um projection uh pit boy stuff so if you grow over here and you do that um you see you have like your little projection thing um and I'll show you some of the holotape stuff. Ignore the holster thing. That's another thing that I'm testing out, which is currently um, unreleased. Oh, and you also have the uh, the stem pack. So if you like reach behind your back, I'll show you that in a little bit. I just need to damage myself. Um, first, we'll do the, the FRIK configuration. So when you load this up, I believe it'll come after Vault 101 if you're starting from new game. And then if you make a save, you should have that tape um i think it should be automatically added but you want to find like a like a nice little flat area click on that um and then stand up nice and tall like it says um stand up tall and then click on calibrate and uh wait for that and there you go it's uh you're all you're all calibrated um now this works with all armors automatically it uses the looks menu so for example if i put on some armor I know uh, I'm seeing myself wearing the drifter armor, which is cool. Um, should work with all weapons. Um, I don't know about custom weapons yet. Um, let me check the tape. I don't know if there's a way for custom weapons to work at the moment. That'll probably work um, later down the line, potentially. Um, and then here you can, like if you want to adjust your body movement, you can move it forward, move it backwards, you can move the body up and down. Or you can adjust the VR scale. So if you find that your uh, your like body is weird to you, you can kind of like adjust um, it to kind of line it up. Similar to how VRIK worked in Skyrim VR, uh, like you kind of adjust different things. Obviously there's no MCM because we don't have an MCM in Fallout VR at the moment um so you kind of have to do it via holotape which works fine um now you can save the position to the ina if uh if you want you can toggle selfie mode with what i was showing you before um let me go back to that toggle that again to bring it back and then show you some other settings um you can toggle the pip boy visibility if for some reason you have like a pip boy mod that you want to use like your own hd pip boy mod um you can you can do that if you want um arms only mode will only give you the arms if for some reason you um don't want the body shown you can do that now one of the biggest benefits of this versus idle hands is when you were using idle hands previously uh, if you wanted to workshop mode you're hand models would disappear well. Now, um, get out of that. you can now build whatever your heart desires. Um, you know, we're, we're sharks over here and scraps and stuff, whatever. Um, and then if you exit this, you won't have disappearing hands. So now you can build workshop mode and continue playing and keep your immersive hands uh, the same, which is awesome. Um, yeah. Um, I think I pretty much went over everything. I don't think there's too many other things to know about this. Uh, don't use idle hands. And then there is uh, 
there's like a crash related to not having some I and I stuff. So I will put that in the description of this video and you need that to be in fallout for custom dot I and I. Um, so just copy and paste that or check if you already have it. Most people should if you're playing this game um, and you need that just in there uh, or you're gonna have issues. Um, oh yeah, and power armor. It's a little glitchy right now with power armor. Rolling Rock is working on it. Just know that it's a little bit weird right now. Um, it works with Kabuto VR, so the HUD should work, but it's just a little, it's a little glitchy. So just expect that for the first uh, release of this mod. Um, you can also mute the sound effects if, you know, for some reason you don't want the hit point sound on. Um, and I don't think, there's a way to set a button right now, but the, um, it's pretty, it should be pretty easy to click on this at the moment. Um, it's not that hard. Or you can just set it to, like, projector mode or whatever. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's awesome. We have a, a body now. This is the first step. Um, we, it works, you know, you can, like, crouch, do, um, and see your legs crouching. Uh, and it works in, kind of works in room scale, too. You can, like, see your walking around and stuff um so yep i will put the link the nexus link in the description whenever he releases it on nexus i do know that this is coming out very soon so either today or tomorrow this will be released um it's not included in my webadec thing yet but i will probably in implement that at some point i'll keep the link for that as well in the description if you are interested in the auto installer that i made um all right, quick little video, unscripted. Yeah, all right, bye.